In this tutorial, we will show two of the options SAP 2000 has for displaying time history results, generated response spectrum curves, and time history traces. We start with the model at the completion of the previous time history analysis. The model was subjected to base acceleration in the shape of a sine curve. Displayed are the fundamental mode shape on the left and the display shape at one second on the right. We start by selecting the point where we want to generate our output in this case the top right hand corner. Under the display menu, we select the show response spectrum curves option. On the various tabs of the form, we can change the joint selected or the input time history function, if more than one. Control what is to be plotted, and in this case we select period versus pseudo spectral acceleration. The direction and the damping values for the curves up to a maximum of six. We will choose four curves in this example. We also have control over options such as whether the spectrum should be widened or if there should be a grid overlay. The display shows the curves for the four damping values selected. Note that the peak value occurs at approximately three seconds, which matches the fundamental period as expected. Next, we will display time history traces for the same selected joint. Start by going to the display show plot functions command. Here we can display any number of different traces. In this example, we will display the X direction displacements for the selected joint. The displacements will be plotted on the vertical axis, and we will plot them against time on the horizontal axis, although you may have other choices here as well. This graph shows the X displacement versus time for joint 9. Moving the cursor over the graph gives individual coordinates. Going back to the definition form, switch the horizontal axis to joint 9 as well which results in a straight line drawn at 45 degrees. The abscissa and ordinate values are identical. This concludes this tutorial.